Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to be going back out to New York City, the Big Apple. Queen's crew of the Bonanno crime family, John Bazuragano, is back in trouble with the feds after reporting to prison back in the summer to serve a five-year sentence, five-year sentence based uh, on a racket, labor racketeering conviction. Copped a plea back in November of 22, was sentenced um, in April of 23, reported to prison in July. Uh, his case from uh, this labor racketeering case was based in a 2021 indictment tied to racketeering in, in a Queens labor union. Most of the people he in, was indicted with or all the other people he was indicted with were Colombo mob members not related to the Bonanno crime family. The sitting administration of the uh, Colombo mob went down in that case. Regano was working with uh, a Colombo Capo's son, uh, Vinny Union's son, Dominic, was working uh, on another side of this uh, scam that they were running within the unions. You had kind of a Colombo side of the scam and you had a kind of a Bonanno side of the scam, but uh, Regano was using one of the Buffalo Capo's sons. Anyway, cops a plea in November of 22, according to this indictment that dropped this week, uh, which is charging Regano with extortion and loan sharking. Uh, it looks like in the time between when he copped his plea and when he reported to prison in the summer of 23, he was trying to collect an outstanding loan sharking debt. And it appears again, based on this timeline that within like days or hours of his plea being uh, worked out in November of 22, he knew he's headed to prison uh, in the near future, and he starts leaning on a guy uh, that owed him money um, to, to repay uh, an extortionate loan. Um, and then the, the, the racketeering conspiracy related to this extortion and loan sharking runs from November when he cops his plea to July when he reports to prison. Um, so through that entire... I think it was seven months uh, as uh, Regano is out on bond waiting for his sentencing, waiting for his uh, time to report to prison to go serve five years. He is getting another case by trying to collect a loan sharking debt. Um, I I've heard that, uh, you know, uh, Regano, he's 62. He's tied into the Queens guys, uh, the oldest uh, or not the old, the Asaro crew. We got indicted with Vinny Asaro about 10 years ago. R.I.P. Vinny. Um, I know that Ronnie G's guys have worked with him. I've also heard that he's a polarizing figure, uh, and that there are a lot of guys, uh, uh that have him on their shit list for, for lack of a better term, and that, uh, Bonanno higher ups have had to step in on his behalf, uh, to prevent beatings. Uh, I don't want to go as far and say his potential hits or whatever, but I've heard that there have been multiple crime families that have been upset with Regano and, uh, uh, Bonanno leaders have had to uh, run interference for that. Either way, uh, he's getting jammed here. Uh, he's doing five years. This this loan sharking case could tack on another ten. He's only sixteen. Uh, he's only sixty two. So we'll see. I, obviously, the government is looking to to jam him and, and try to find their way uh, back to indicting the boss of the uh, of the Bonanos, Mikey Nose Man Clue. So that remains to be seen. But uh, right now, Bazu Regano is on his way. Uh, or I don't know if he's he's in Brooklyn yet, but he was serving his time uh, at a at a FCI Loretto in Pennsylvania, and now either he's on his way back to New York to see the judge, or he's already here um, and is going to get hit with more charges. Uh, and only time will tell what happens. For OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.